In this updated tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to take text that you use in subtitles and format it and also place it on the screen where you want it to go. We have another tutorial showing you how to put markers in your subtitle track that you can use that will hold text. Here we're just going to show you how to format that. So we have a video here and we're going to just play a few seconds of it. It would assume that we have a narration going and we want the subtitles to match the narration. And so we're going to give you a little bit of clues as to some things that you can do when you actually put the content into your subtitles. And so let's stop that and we'll show you a little bit about formatting and placing text. I click on my subtitle room on the left side or press the F12 key and I need to widen that particular window so I can see more. You can also import and export information into the text field of the subtitle. We have another tutorial on that as well. Let's look at the subtitles themselves. Let's start with the first one here, which says Trust Smith and Stivers Lawn Care. In order to format that particular subtitle, you highlight it. You can highlight it down on the track or you can highlight it up in the subtitle room. And then you click on the T key to change the formatting. You have several options. You can make that subtitle any kind of font family you want. We'll pick the Magneto. And then you can choose the color of the face of the text. Right now it's blue. Uh, let's change it to an orange. And you can put a shadow on it if you wish. We'll do a little bit of a black shadow and then we can do a border. And I can apply it to all of my particular subtitles on my subtitle track or just that single one. I can also change the font size if I want, make it larger or smaller. Let's reduce this a little bit and I can do bold, regular, italic, or bold italic. Now there's an alignment box that will only show up if you have more than one line in that particular subtitle. We'll show you that in a moment. And then you click on OK, and then it will change it in the preview screen. So now we have this particular title, and it's centered on the screen. Let me click on this last title. And you notice what happens. It, it starts off the screen on the left and goes off the screen on the right. If you have words in your text at that font size that are wider than the screen, uh, it will not wrap them. So the only thing you can do in this particular case is go back to your title where you edit it and press a hard carriage return. And if you do that, it will put it on two lines. And we find that still it is too large. So I have to go back again and decide where I want to split it a third time. And now I have three lines. We'll click down here in the, and now I have three. But there is no way that you can cause it to wrap uh, from one line to another if it's too long. It will center it and it will extend off the screen if you have too much text for the width of your screen. Let's add two more markers. I'm going to click the plus and move over and add another one with a plus. Now I have two more markers for titles and no titles. If I want to enter a couple of them, the tendency is simply to double click on the subtitle text column and then enter a text. We could say nice sunny day and then I want to enter in information on the seventh marker. And if I press the Enter key, it doesn't do that. The Enter key will allow me to put another line in marker number six. So we have to overcome our tendency to want to move from one to the other by doing Enter and simply click on the field below and say, this is a wonderful example. But if I press enter, I am going to put in multiple columns. Now let me show you what happens when you do have multiple columns in your text. We have this item here, this particular title, the fourth one. If I click on the T, 
now that I have multiple columns, my alignment box is active. So now I can change this to align them left, center, or right. And so I see a preview screen here below in this particular location, and I can adjust any of them any way I want to. You also have the option of determining where the title will appear on the screen, and that is by using the four-headed arrow button at the bottom of the subtitle room. If I click on that, I have a box that gives me position X is left to right, Y is up and down. So let's take the X position and move this a little bit to the left. And though it's still centered, this does not make it left uh, aligned. It will move to the left side of the screen. I'll take my Y position and move that to the left and that will move it toward the top of the screen. And once again, I can apply the positioning to all of these subtitles or just the current one. And if I leave it there, we've just changed this particular subtitle. If I click on any of the other ones, they stay normal. So you can vary the formatting of any subtitle on the subtitle track, uh, adjusting the color of the face of it, the outline, the shadow, the font size, the font type, and the location in CyberLink PowerDirector.